And, and more importantly, my purpose tonight is to give you some principles from black history leaders that you can take to help you excel, okay? Now, I was reading a book the other week, and I came across a, a quote from Martin Luther King, and it said, if you enslave the mind, the body will never be free. Let me say that again. If you enslave the mind, the body will never be free. Now, what he meant by that was, you don't physically have to put somebody in shackles to control their thoughts and their actions. You don't have to physically put somebody in jail to control what they want to do in life. All you have to do if you really want to control somebody is to control their mind. And then you control their whole thought process and everything. And so by the age of seven, she became an orphan. She was an orphan. So basically she wasn't living with her parents. She ended up living with uh, one of her brother, one of her parents' brother-in-laws. Okay, make sense. So she was, she found herself picking cotton. Okay, picking cotton, picking cotton. So by the age of fourteen, she was ambitious, and she figured, well, the the only way that I'm gonna get out this household is I need to get married. So she got married at the age of fourteen. Fourteen. That's powerful, right? products and she put her 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 name on it and everything built her own brand of course so over over a period of a couple years she began to get dist distributors people that would actually sell the product for her and so she built an organization up to like 40,000 people worldwide I mean worldwide nationwide that were actually selling for her which was powerful this is back this is back years ago so People still had the slavery mentality. Um, Caucasian people still didn't like African Americans, but it was powerful that she was one of the first female millionaires. Now, how did she do that? What were some of the characteristics that she possessed that made her that successful? Diligence. Great, I like that. I like the 1800s, 1900s, and you actually building a company from scratch, and you're going around selling. Do you think some of your friends probably that you surround yourself can influence you to some point? Yes. Yeah, they can. So, associations are real powerful. Associations are powerful because if you think about it, think about your five closest friends. And think about her five closest friends. I'm pretty sure her five closest friends were probably just similar to her. They probably were ambitious, great communicators, and probably ultra su successful. Because most people that are successful at what they do, they don't like hanging around people that are not interested in what they're doing, right? Probably not. Probably not because they're not interested in having you tear their particular dreams down. You know, and you got to be careful about that. Of course, skin like a rhino. You ever, you guys, you ever watch anything on the Discovery Channel with the rhino, where he's walking around and the birds are just on his back pecking him and all types of stuff, stuffs flying at him. Nothing stops him, right? You got to have that type of that type of skin to get where you want. And she definitely had to have some stuff like that. Then. Start it.